stay safe and stay healthy so no further delay let's begin our today's topic is skeleton diagram this body tummy post has detailed information on the human skeletal system along with a simple diagram which will help you learn and understand human anatomy a child is born with close to 300 bones However, as he grows up, the bones fuse together and an adult human skeletal system consists of 206 bones. Given below is a labeled diagram and types of to help you draw the memorize the human of different parts. Human skeleton diagram Here is a detailed diagram which shows the various bones present in an adult skeletal system. There is a simple little difference between the male and female skeleton. But for diagrams mostly a male skeletal system is considered. Memorizing the diagram. Take a look, a good look of course. at the above diagram if you wish to memorize it to be reflected during an examination or a test then there is no other way than to practice drawing it couple of times you can use some forms to make drawing the skeletal easier for example for a skill you can use an overall for the chest or ribs you can use a rectangle then for the pelvis you can use a triangle and small cladiars can be used to draw hands and legs once you have drawn these outlines you may sketch the detailed shapes of the various bones this will make your drawing look proportionate You can stick a label diagram on a wall in your room so you can see it many times a day in order to memorize it better remembering the names memorizing all the scientific names of skeletal system can be difficult as you can see in the above diagram there are around 24 labels and forgetting one of them is quite possible To avoid this here is a trick i used to remember the names of the bones firstly divided the skeleton into small groups the skull the chest and back and hands the pelvis and lastly the legs to remember the names of skeletal system part always go from top to bottom To remember the name of the school parts remember the initial C and M which are for cranium and mandible for full hands remember S H R U C M and P which are for scapula humerus radius ulna carplas metacarpals and phalanges to remember the name of the chest and the backbones remember csr and v which are for clavicle sternum ribs and vertebra for pelvis bones names use p o s and c which stands for pelvis os coccyx scarium and coccyxi finally to remember the bone part names for legs use f p t f t m and p which are for femur patella tibia fibula tresla metatarsala and phalanges If you wish to use the above diagram for practice add the click here for a blank skeletal system diagram to level on this blank diagram practice writing the appropriate names of the various skeleton parts 
do this couple of times using the avoid tip to memorize the names of the bones.